We're back with Spike Myth Cup today. Kamikasa VGC's team from second place at the Nino Bro Nino Pokey Bros tour that I just covered the meta analysis for. You should watch that video as well. I kind of made my own spreads and kind of made a whole bunch of stuff. I did watch a bunch of segments of his VOD to make sure there was like a power herb meteor beam stride going on with Nihiligo. That's the main reason I want to play this team. And to just see like some items and some moves and just scour out really what this team really does. Go check out Kamikasa VGC on Twitch. Go go there. And then also check him out on Twitter. All that kind of stuff, you know. Dude's crazy. Really good team. Let me go ahead and talk about it for just a minute because I didn't really come up with the strategies and I haven't played a single game yet. So uh, we have Celesteela, Nihiligo, Heatran, Zarina, Tapu Fini, and Whimsicott. One thing that I might want to put on is Trick Room on Nihiligo. It's a good little mix-up and it, you know, you have some good middling speed Pokemon here, Heat Rans, Arena, and Celesteela that can really take advantage of that. And then Tapu Fini has a bit of speed. This is to outspeed Regilecki under Tailwind. I don't even know if that's something that matters. I just went for it. We've got Whimsicott with the Prankster Tailwind, of course. We have Helping Hand for the Tapu Fini, just making busted. It should probably be Energy Ball. We also have Life Orb Heat Ran, which is pretty cool. The Power Orb Meteor Beam Strat on Nihiligo, which is really cool. It's the best user for this uh, in this format, I believe. And then we have Celesteela that's physical attacking with Misty Seed. So it gets a nice big defense boost. This is the team that murdered this team in the finals. <laughs> I'm going to go with his lead, even though the Lilligan Torkoal murdered it. But it, it was pretty strong against the Hatterini and Didi. And I think it could have gone better for him. We're going to go with the Heat Ran uh, Tepo Fini lead. I think we're going to bring Celesteela and Zarina. I guess we'll bring Nihiligo in the back. And uh, we'll bring Zarina as well. Uh, well, actually, Celesteela, because Celesteela can live the eruption, so. And he goes for the Torkoal Lilligan uh, start instead, which is pretty rough for me. I don't think eruption's taking out... No, it probably is. It's, it's probably taking out uh, Heat Ran. I feel like it shouldn't take out Tapu Fini, so he... This is, this is really funny. So this is really, like, game one run back for him, but, you know, with me, who's an uh, objectively much worse player. Lilligan potentially being able to Leaf Storm into my Tapu Fini, and it, it will take an Oko and Torkoal, or he could go after you, Eruption, which won't take a knockout on um, either of them guaranteed, I believe. So I I'm pretty tempted to just attack and hope that it doesn't knock everything out. I think I'm going to. Just Dazzling Gleam. This is not, I, I feel like this is bad. <laughs> I feel like this is just objectively the incorrect play. He goes Earth Power, actually. Okay, maybe maybe this will go pretty well for me, actually. We'll, t we'll take that. I, I think I'll take that start. And we live off the, the life orb damage. That was a really good turn one for me. I think it was a really good turn one. I'm guessing he just brought the stack attack of Lando in the back. I don't think this looked like uh, the right matchup to bring these guys. Although, it is good. Landorus. Oh, no. Landorus has sludge bombs. So that, that sludge bomb is going to murder Tapu Fini. Probably knock it out. You think Tapu Fini's going to live? I, I feel like it's not going to live. We're going to go for it, though. Let's see if the sludge bomb kills. It probably does. Oh, we outspeed? Crazy. And crit? Broken. It does knock out. I'm, I'm happy with that, though. I'm happy with that, like, chunk of damage that I got. Also, how fast is this guy? It's not fast at all. What do I want to bring in here? Nihiligo is fast. It's going to it's gonna outspeed. Yeah, we'll bring on a, in Nihiligo. It'll outspeed the Landorus. And then Heatran can deal with the Torkoal. So we're just going to drop a, another Heat Wave. And what do we want to hit this Lando? I, I want to Meteor Beam it because it'd be really powerful, but then we take that 10% chance of probably just straight up losing the, the, the game. This Earth Power is going to murder this Nihiligo. I, I think we have to be safe and just Power Gem in. I think we go safe. I, I think we have to go safe here. And Didi's his last bring, which is kind of surprising to me, I'd say. Okay, he does Protect, so that's fine. So we'll get... Um, not uh, enough damage to really burn. I mean, that'd be cool, I guess. It wouldn't really matter that much, but a little bit of tick would be nice, I guess. Okay, now we're just into the real end game here. He's still got a Torkoal that's basically, I mean, practically useless. I'm actually much happier to see this in DD, I think, than Stack Attacka. My Celesteela, I think, just has to protect here. Nihiligo is going to attack into the Lando. Yeah, I mean, just the, the basic stuff that we were going to see. <laughs> Now, you see, I really want to go Meteor Beam because we kind of need this bo uh, this boost to attack into this Ndidi more effectively, I think. But this Indi like, he's pretty much, he has no answer for Celesteela except the Torkoal, which... Come on. Yeah, we just continue to Power Gem. It's safe. It's safe. I, I really feel like you have to do the safer play here. And that was... Oh, the that was so, oh, so stupid. Why did I think that was a good play? That was obviously the play that he was going to do. Oh, I threw. That was so... Oh, that was terrible. That was terrible. 
That was terrible. And uh, the terrain was gone, so we don't even have the boosted acrobatics. Oh my goodness. Oh, I played that terribly. I played that terribly. It's okay. I think this could still be winnable. That had to kill though. Well, his indeed he can't do anything. It, it physically cannot do anything. So we're just gonna, you know, see what Torkoal can hit with. Does it have heat wave? It does have heat wave. It missed. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. That's actually, cr that's actually crazy. That's it. That's what we needed. That's so funny. Okay, so what's gonna happen here? What, what's gonna protect? Something's gonna protect. He, he could just dual attack, but like, what's that gonna do? Landorus has to, uh, Landorus honestly has no tools for the Celesteela either. All right, we're attacking Lander. Landorus. Because this is the thing that can get crits. Like, that's the one that matters. Because the Torkoal uh, damage here isn't gonna be that ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Maybe I was wrong. What? Okay, well, Heavy Slam takes the knockout here. Oh my gosh, that was a... Uh... That was a game, dude. That was a that was wild. I really didn't think I had that one. We'll take it. Post editing guy here. What literally? What was I thinking? Attacking the Landorus. Literally, what was I thinking? The one turn, I almost lost everything. I don't really understand how I clawed my way back out that one. Celestiola, man, that guy's good. Metagross, Clefairy, Dragapult. Clefairy, Dragapult is actually really difficult to deal with. We got Dragapult, Clefairy. I think if that's his lead, then the Heatran uh, Tapu Fini lead goes pretty crazy. And honestly, that lead doesn't really falter to really anything. I mean, I'm trying to think of what that lead could be bad to, and it's not really anything. Like, if Rillaboom is there, then okay, we don't bring Tapu Fini, or then we swap the Tapu Fini into like something that can wall that very effectively, which could be the Zarina, could be Celesteela, probably Celesteela. So we'll bring Heatran, Tapu Fini, we'll bring Celesteela, and. I brought Nihiligo last time, and I think I want to bring it again. I think we're going to bring Nihiligo, though. I think this Metagross could be maybe a problem. I don't know how I, like, deal with it other than Heatran, but Heatran's kind of, like, you know, out here already. He does lead Clefairy Dragapult, though, so I think that's fine. I think I'm okay with that, because I don't think Dragapult can uh, exert enough pressure against either of these Mons to just knock them out. And if he goes Dragon Dance, then we're just laying down some, some attacks. We're just gonna heat wave and dazzling gleam. I feel like it's fine. I feel like it's fine. Clefairy's gonna live both attacks though, I think. But choice specs Tapu Fini does a lot of damage, so we're just gonna go for it. He goes protect and phantom force. Yeah, I mean, well, that was good. That was incredibly strong. So, what's gonna happen here? Is he gonna life do and then follow up with his full attack? I feel like that's okay if that's the case. We'll earth power into the Dragapult slot. He could power, he, yeah, I mean, that's fine. I think that's fine if he does the follow me this turn and then the earth power goes into the Clefairy. It'll probably, it probably won't take a knockout though. We'll flash cannon, we'll flash cannon. All right, we're gonna, we're just gonna heat wave Dragon Gleam. I, I was happy with that. I was happy with that outcome. I didn't think this would knock it out even with the helping hand, that'd be insane. Yeah, we take out Dragapult. I should have, I, I should have flash cannon. Yeah, that would have been really good if I flash cannon. They take the double knockout. That would have been insane. Because now we have to deal with this Clefairy still. Or she was outspeeding both. That sucks. Tapafini has to switch, I think. Tapafini threatens this Urshifu, and without that, like, this Urshifu kind of goes brazy on me. Urshifu probably targets down this Heatran, though. I think it's more of the problem. Tapafini deals with Urshifu, so maybe he has to attack the Tapafini. I think it's pretty obvious that he specs the Tapafini at this point. The dual dazzling gleam. Heat ran doesn't go that hard into anything else except Metagross. I think we just switch to Celesteela. Celesteela feels pretty safe here. And it's pretty much everything that he could do. He does follow me, which is fine because we're yeah, okay. Well, yeah, he does attack the Heat ran, just takes it right out. So that's unfortunate. That was really poor by me. I'm, I'm playing really badly today, I feel like. But I, this is my second game with the team. Like, this is literally my first and second game with this team, so. It makes sense for me to be bad with it. I mean, if he goes follow me and we like protect here and then attack, then I think I forgot about Unseen Fist right here. So I'm okay with that. Oh, he switches into Rotom. Okay, so now we know all of his Pokemon though, which is useful. He protects the Clefairy, so we do Acrobatics into the Rotom. Not doing any damage, but it's there. Now we follow me. What does Rotom attack with? What does Rotom do that like matters here? I say it can attack the Celesteela and that's pretty good, but we're Misty Seated up, so. I feel like it's not that bad. I think I think I'm ready to. I think I'm finally ready to meteor beam. We'll attack into the Rotom. It might protect, and that's fine if it does, because uh, we still get the plus one, and that's fine. And Clefairy's not doing much. It could life do, and if that's the case, then so be it. We'll just have you slam into it. I think that's okay. Oh yeah, helping hands. Does uh, overheat kill Celesteela? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, we just win the game now. 
His Urshifu can't, it doesn't really threaten either of these Pokemon enough, and Nightly goes out speeding and just gonna murder it. Celesteela should competently live anything that this Urshifu could push out here. Nightly go out speeds. It does break to, down to the Sash, but then, you know, we just knock it out from here. So as long as you don't miss this heavy slam, I guess, or acrobatics, and we don't. I really like this team. I feel like I did not do it any justice, but this seems crazy. I definitely want to change some stuff. There's, you know, I want I want to make some of these spreads better, of course, and uh, yeah. So I'll test more with this team, and maybe we'll do another video with this team. Maybe not this exact team. We might change some stuff up, but um, yeah. So shout out Kamikasa. Go check him out on twitch drop a follow it's free do that at least and, and while you're doing things for free for people subscribe to the channel uh is that good is that a good wink okay goodbye